team welcome back to my channel Lottie Alice Lamb here today it is my 100 warble challenge so I'm at the gym it's a Sunday it is my rest day I've just dropped Hercules off at his auntie's and I've never trialed this before so this is going to be the first time that I have tried my 100 wall ball challenge 100 unbroken wall balls are we going to do it yes we are i've had my fiber performance creamy oat bowl and i've also had a black coffee this morning so i'm fueled i'm ready to go and we're going to do it let's go I'm just trying to psych myself up i got this 100 wall balls.
your girl just did 100 unbroken wool wools and um, I'm not gonna lie when I got to 90 I thought I've got 10 more and then I thought to myself actually I think I missed 70 out the 70s so I thought I'll do an extra 10 and then when I watched the video back in the gym I actually just did 100 I thought I did 110 so I'm so glad I added that extra 10 on on the end now i'm going to take you home and i'm going to show you what's in my gym bag yeah maybe i'll just show you the rest of my day otherwise this video will be very very short see <laughs> <laughs> Hello team, so I'm home from the 100 Unbroken Wall Ball Challenge. I can't believe I managed that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not trialed that or tested it in the gym before, so that was the first time. So I'm really proud of myself that I managed to do it. So I picked Hercules up, I've come home and I really fancy a bacon and egg bagel. So I'm going to make two gluten-free bacon and egg bagels. I'm actually in the middle of making it now. And um, so I'll make it, finish it, and then I'm going to show you what's inside my gym bag. Because I get quite a lot of messages asking what I take to the gym with me, what do I have in my gym bag. So I'm going to share that with you next. Also, I am wearing Gymshark's new rest day collection. These green joggers are my favourite joggers. Water. You want some water? Is that there on the side, Hope, please? But these are an extra small and you can see how much room is in them. You don't really need to size up or size down, but they're so comfortable and they've got a lovely, lovely. Look at the material inside, so nice. I will leave my link below in the description if you wish to shop Gymshark. I'm gonna make myself a fiber performance protein hot chocolate with Rick cream and mini marshmallows. And Hercules will just have a dairy free hot chocolate because he's got cow's milk protein allergy. And obviously I'm not gonna make it a protein hot chocolate. Okay. Oh, my lunch looks so good. I've got two gluten free bagels, three rashes of bacon, and two boiled eggs with spinach. So delicious. Yummy. Oh, sinking. Hercules, show mummy. What have you got? Marshmallows pink. with cream. Yeah. Is it pink. nice? Pink and white. Pink. And... Show me. Go cheese. Cheese. Team, I have just made the most delicious hot chocolate protein. Hot chocolate. <laughs> I have to get my words out then. I did film it on a reel, so I will post it on my Instagram this week. I just used three ingredients. So I used fiber performance. I used Fiber Performance Chocolate Protein Powder, then I used unsweetened almond milk and I used half a tablespoon of just fine dark cocoa powder. Blend it, heat it on the hob and then just pour it in a glass. And I promise you it doesn't taste like mud. Mm. Oh my god it's so, it's so like, it's really good. Mm. No lumps, no grittiness, no sand-like texture. We didn't add marshmallows. Let's add marshmallows. There we go. Delish. Can you see? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I've tried to make protein hot chocolate before and it's just come out a gritty, lumpy mess. I honestly think it's to do with this protein powder, why it's not come out gritty or lumpy. I know that fiber went in and out of the factory two to three times to get the texture right for a plant-based protein. Fiber sport protein have nailed the texture, especially for hot chocolate. Chocolate? Mmm. Oh, mm. oh my god, it tastes so good. So good. It tastes so good. Yeah, it does taste so good. You had a milk one, didn't you? Mummy made you a milk one. I have lots of more, please. That's a nice cuddle. Stop! Oh. 
Hello team, so I thought I would show you what is inside my gym bag because I always get quite a lot of messages what I take to the gym. Now I was kindly gifted this bag from Built for Athletes. I just wanted to show you this bag because I've been using a holder for ages and I found I was chucking everything inside and I could never find anything I wanted when I got to the gym. And I really like these stickers, especially this one. We are all athletes. I think that's such a lovely quote. You don't need to be a certain person or at a certain level to be an athlete we're all athletes right so i have got hand sanitizer because the gym is a very dirty place so we like to keep clean i also keep spare clips in here as well in case my hairband broke i don't get these girls that train with their hair down i just can't do it i then have my ear pods now the gym music is so loud i put these in so that nobody comes and talks to me during mid set don't act like i'm not the only one that does that then I keep Vaseline in here as well because during the winter I get very, very, very dry lips. Now, are you a dabber or are you a lip rubber? Comment below. Dabber, lip rubber, Vaseline. And then I also keep just a little pot of cream in here as well in case I get any dry patches. I always take one and a half litre bottle of water with me. Now, I am trying to find, I found Yeti do them, one and a half litre water bottles that are metal. I don't really like plastic shakers because I find after a while they just make the water taste a bit funny. So I found Yeti do a metal shaker, which is one and a half litre. So I'm going to get that. Although I do recycle, add it up throughout the year. I would save myself money just by buying a bottle. So I'm going to do that. She always wants to be involved. So in the main pocket, I also keep my tripod, which are you are currently on at the moment. So I will leave a picture here of my tripod and I also take a mini one with me as well then I take my lifters with me my Nike lifters I wear these when I do squats or when I do Olympic lifting they've got a raised heel so it helps you get slightly lower keep your chest up chin up um, but yes, lifters, I wear my Nike Metcon to the gym all the time and then I change into my lifters if I do squats or Olympic lifting. My trusty barbell pad, which I normally actually leave under here in the bottom. Then I take my own ankle straps for cable kickbacks. And so I just bought these off of Amazon actually. They're like a black army print. Thank you. Take those with me. I did have some lifting straps, but I lost them. So I'm not a fan of them because we just don't get on very well. Then I've got my trusty tight barbell band. And so I use this for like barbell hip thrusts or bullet squats. It's a high resistance one, that one. Then I've got like a light resistance band, which I do some warm up with. So I do like overhead around the world or I'll do banded pull aparts with them or I'll do like banded good moonings to warm my legs up. And lastly, here, wrist straps which are for like toes to bars. So it helps your hands from stop hurting here. So I use these for like toes to bars and kipping pull-ups. Really, really good actually. They're a brand called Mergs. I just bought these off of Amazon as well. And I have just purchased a lifting belt. Now I don't normally wear a lifting belt. When I do wear it, I'm gonna feel like a school girl. <laughs> so I'm wearing it. And I do some of my heavy deadlifts. I feel like I, put myself back a bit with the weight because I get a bit worried that it's going to hurt my back. So I thought I'd get a weight lifting belt. So that will pop in here nicely as well. Sometimes I do take a snack to the gym. So I will keep like a breakfast bar or protein bar just in one of the pockets in case I get hungry. I don't normally find I get hungry during my morning session, but if I go like mid morning to afternoon, I find I get quite hungry. So that is my trusty gym bag. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box below and I will answer them for you. Anything of the products that I've got in here or any other things that may be helpful going to the gym my new next challenge i thought i would reveal it on here and um, so my next new challenge is going to be this i'm going to learn to handstand walk i'm also going to learn handstand push-ups that is my new challenge i am looking to complete this by March time. I'm gonna give myself three months, January, February, March. Hopefully by March time, I'll be able to either handstand walk and do handstand push-ups. They are my next two challenges. So 
I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Thank you so much for all your support with my 100 Unbroken Wall Ball Challenge. I've really enjoyed doing it. That is why I'm gonna do another new challenge to work towards. And if any of you do get your 100 Unbroken Wall Balls, please do send them to me on my Instagram so I can watch it. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for all your support. Remember, I've had a look. A lot of you have not subscribed. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like.